you know, you can lie to me, but not to yourself. At least that's the way the old catchphrase goes. But now that I think about it, I don't know how legitimate that is. Because as I was writing my autobiography earlier last year, I found that there were some parts of my life that I had forgotten about or glazed over on purpose because either it got in the way of the story or it was something I just didn't care to remember. So in essence, I was in fact lying to myself. And and I was writing it out, I discovered things about me that I had been lying for so long that I had forgot I was lying and it just became truth. So there's that. But I bring it up because I know I'd come out here and I'd done a video uh, early last month where I said, hey, I'd had this experience and I was never going to do it again. It was just something that it was I couldn't be bothered trying to do it again. To do it would, would be disrespectful to that moment. And I believe that. But I find myself debating if I was lying to myself then or if I'm lying to myself now to justify it. You see, there used to be a time when I could tell you I was completely drug free, that I, that I didn't drink, I didn't smoke, that wasn't my thing. But then I found myself drinking. Then I found myself doing edibles. Then I found myself wanting more. So we tried acid just the once. We, we did it just the one time. And I told myself, oh, I could never do this again. And I mean that, and I'm still holding true to that. I will never touch acid again. It was just, it's too much for me. But now I find myself silently debating to myself. When I said never again, did I include doing edibles? Or am I just glazing over the fact that I want to be able to have weed in my brownie. So when I said never again, I was just talking about acid. It's one of those things. I don't know if I'm lying to myself or not.